What's up, keepers? And soccer's back. That means that we get brand new goalkeeper gloves. And we got Adidas coming up first with the whole new Adidas Freak line that is a look at the new Predator models. And they have made a ton of changes to their Predator model. We're going to get all of them, starting with that competition model that has that removable wrist strap, all the way up to the Ultimate Mac Daddy, uh, Ultimate predator pro that has removable finger saves and even a stitched wrist strap and really after getting all these comments begging for reviews on these brand new pairs i went out and picked up all of the best gloves in this adidas drop starting with the predator competition model to the predator pro the hybrid pro and ending it all the way with the big boy the ultimate model of the predator and there's a lot of features to talk about between each glove. So right now, we're just gonna look and compare the specs between all of them on their unboxing. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you will be one of the first people to see each of their reviews. So let's start this out with our wild card, the Adidas Predator GL Competition. It's lowest on the Adidas pricing list, but still rather expensive at about 100 US dollars or 75 British pounds. But while the competition model looks similar to the baseline Predator, it is actually almost a completely different glove. And this has very little to do with the removable wrist strap that I will say is a nice touch, but I would rather personally stitch the straps into the gloves or just go all the way non-strapped with these. I hate removable straps as I am not the most organized person and I will end up losing a strap sooner or later, so I might as well go strapless completely. Now the Predator Competition is a negative cut glove like their big brother, the Predator Pro, but for some amazing reason, it has a rolled thumb, which to me is a massive plus, and the backhand, while sporting the well-known demon skin spikes, seem to be made up of a different, thicker material. That also doesn't go into a one piece down the wrist. Instead, there is a sock or sleeve that stretches around the wrist, which is a pretty nifty idea, and it fits a lot better than I expected it to. And while the palm is also embossed, it doesn't stretch down as deep down into the wrist with the same durability zone that the Predator Pros do. And although the competition does come in URG 2.0, that is covered in plastic and sounds extremely sticky, I was surprised to see some differences from this actual URG 2.0 latex with their Predator models. So no more teasing, let's take a look at these new Adidas Predator GL Pros. And let's see what Adidas has done to improve on what I thought was already a pretty decent strapless glove. So first up, the Predator Pro costs a steep 120 US dollars or 120 euros. And on the palm, not much has changed. I was very surprised to see for some reason, this model URG 2.0 was shipped out to me without protective latex. Unlike the competitions, which were sent to me with a complete covering plastic film on that URG 2.0. Which makes me think there might actually be some differences in the quality of the latex on the pros compared to the competition model. And maybe URG 2.0 is not the same on each model, which knowing Adidas wouldn't surprise me at all. And the palm really hasn't changed in this model. There's no rolled latex on the thumb. The cut still looks like a decent negative cut that has embossing across the fingers and palm for easier maneuverability of the hands. And probably the biggest note or difference on the palm is this abrasion zone on the heel of the palm that is a mix of raised up latex nodules and little cutout areas for what I assume makes the latex tear less in that area that rubs up against the ground the most. And I think the biggest thing that has changed, and for the better, is Adidas has gone with a whole new material on the back end. It doesn't feel like the knitted material any longer, it's a lot heavier and thicker than the previous model, adding some serious weight to the fit on the Predators, and even going a little deeper down and tighter on the forearms for the fit on the wrist, which is a significant improvement to the fit, feel, and weight on these gloves. And this is a super plus for me, as I had said it a lot on my last model's review, I didn't really have that much stopping power in the last Predator Pros, and when it came to harder shots, the gloves did give to some sting. So I'm happy to see that Adidas has listened to this criticism, and they redid their backhand to add some serious padding to the backhand, and give the Demon Skin a better chance at cushioning the hand in the field on harder shots. And this takes us to my personal favorite of the Adidas Predator line, the Predator GL Pro Hybrid, used by the best goalkeepers in the world for good reason. The hybrid is, in my opinion, the best cut Adidas has ever offered up. The latex is rolled for the best catching opportunities, and even the thumbs are rolled for optimal performance. The fit on the fingers is the exact type any negative cut glove wearer will love. 
But I was very surprised to see that these hybrid models also did not come with any plastic covering the URG 2.0 latex, which meant these weren't crazy sticky and possibly they chemically treated differently than the competitions are, which came in with plastic covering and they did sound positively sticky when I was already just moving them around. While this URG 2.0 latex on the hybrids didn't really seem that sticky on the hybrids and even on the Predator Pro models, neither came with any plastic plastic on the latex. So I do have some questions about that and we will check that out in field. And if you take a closer look at this, the demon skin spikes are a bit thicker and more spread out across the gloves than on their previous models, which makes for a much better look and effective punching platform for the backhand than this last model did, which had just a lot of spikes flaking off after some of the tougher training days. I also have this sneaking suspicion that the palms are now a full 4 millimeters of latex, which means a much more padded feel and a fatter looking palm. And this is very different from our previous Predator models. But again, I welcome all this added weight because this strapless glove craze has just been getting way too thin and light. And in turn, my poor fingers and hands were just soaking up all of the hits, which has been getting pretty painful lately. So what do you get when you put together all these gloves and their features into one Raid Boss Adidas Goalkeeper glove? Also, the only pair of this whole new line to have actual stitched in wrist straps right off the manufacturing line and a one of a kind wrist guard feature? You guessed it, the amazingly expensive 180 US dollar or 180 euro Adidas Predator GL Ultimate. A smorgasbord of features filling every nook and cranny of this glove, literally from the removable finger saves to an actual wrist support plastic saver to a whole different negative cut that looks almost like a flat cut with how wide it is. Now the Ultimate is like glove porn. Adidas pushed in everything they could into this pair of gloves to give us crazy glove guys a lot to talk about. The Ultimate looks a lot more like a traditional glove than the other models, and it does not share the same extended flared out wrist entry system that the Predators do. And the backhand body isn't all in one piece, so the freedom of mobility isn't as good as the Predator Pro line and either. And the wrist strap is a gorgeous stretch Adidas wrist strap that has won my heart over many times. And the backhand is full of features I personally never use. The finger saves are easily removable and not the standard plastic, but a more gummy type of material that is a bit more restrictive in movement. And the wrist guard, while it is a cool idea, I took it out right away. Both of these made my gloves almost impossible to open and close without it actually being an actual gym session for my fingers. So I know some keepers just need to have their finger saved. So if you do end up getting a pair of these and you love your finger saves, I would say it might be a good idea to go half a size up in these gloves as it was super difficult just to slide my pair of gloves on with all that material in there. And surprisingly, the ultimate model, which comes with this URG 2.0, comes with plastic covering the palm which really does prove the point that there are different types of URG 2.0s going around for different models. And if you take a quick listen, you can hear that the grip is surprisingly tacky. It even grips onto the plastic and you can hear that it smacks loose often. And so far for the price, I'm really not sold on the Ultimates, but we gotta see how well they perform on the pitch. So make sure to smash that subscribe and notification bell to get the notifications when all of these reviews come up. Plus, let us know your thoughts. What features are you most excited for and which glove do you think is the best of the new Adidas line? Also, do you think Adidas really listened to us or did you just hear it from the keepers that they worked with? Comment down below or join our Discord and we can talk about it in more depth. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon.